Yes, now we will discuss about the Meckel's diverticulum. First of all, we will make a diagram. This is developing foregut. Here is mid gut loop. This is mid gut loop. This is hind gut. Here is position of cecal bud. This is This is Vitello. Intestinal duct. This is yolk sac. This part is yolk sac. This is up to this level. This is developing foregut from here to this part this is mid gut loop and this part this is hind gut <coughs> this is hind gut This is vitello intestinal duct. Proximal part of vitello intestinal duct persists in about 2% cases. Normally, during 6th week of intrauterine life, this portion become disappear. But in about 2% cases, the proximal part persists and this is like this. This is anterior abdominal wall. Here is position of the umbilicus. It's anterior abdominal wall. Here is position of this loop. This is ileum. Ileum. So this is position of the umbilicus. The proximal part of vitello intestine duct up to this part remains persist, which normally disappears after sixth week of intrauterine life. So this part persists, this part. This is Meckel's diverticulum. This is Meckel's diverticulum. Diameter of this is equal to diameter of the ileum. And length is about 2 inches. That means 5 centimeter. So it occurs in about 2% subjects. 
and it is about two feet proximal to this ileocecal valve. Two feet proximal to wall. Sometimes this contains ectopic gastric tissue. If ectopic gastric tissue are present in this, that means the tissue here secretes acid, HCl, which may ulcerate to this and this may cause hemorrhage. So peptic ulcer may occur in this part. In some cases, there is ectopic pancreatic cells pancreatic tissue here pancreatic juice is secreted which may cause pancreatic ulcer most common complication is bleeding it occurs in about 20 to 30 percent cases and next is obstruction it may cause obstruction and next to obstruction there is diverticulitis diverticulitis occurs in about 10 percent cases hemorrhage is about 20 to 30 percent cases and about 20 to 25 percent cases it may cause intestinal obstruction so this is all about the Meckel's diverticulum. Thank you.